Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 358th podcast of the NC Rowan County Anime Group. My name is Robert Clyon. I'm trying to be the president of the group. Please forgive me for taking so long to get back and trying to do a podcast here. I've been quite busy. I'm going to be at a convention in January for two weekends in a row called Ichiban Con 4. And I'm taking this time out to try to study and learn more about Japan because I'm going to be doing panels at both weekends of Ichiban Con. And I like being properly prepared. Now, uh, I do take occasional breaks from my study. Last night, I went and I watched this anime again, My Neighbor Totoro. I saw this anime the first time at Dragon Con in 1995. I saw it in Dobby's fan sub. I don't think there was a commercial uh, uh, t- subtitle of it at the time. So I watched it and I thought it was a very interesting film. And I, when I rewatched this one, this one's dubbed by the way, I found some very interesting things about this uh, film. Like, I hope to not be taking away too much from the plot, but I found this scene where they had this statue of a, of a fox with a sort of like a bandana around his neck. Now, this is supposed to be used as part of a ritual over in Japan. They think that foxes are messengers of the god, vice god. And uh, they offer spice cakes, which is right over here. And this was shown as far as the statue in My Neighbor Totoro. There's also two, a scene where they have like a little small shrines, which I have seen that before in uh, the Japanese culture where, you know, you go on long travels. They have a little rest stop and, you know, they have a thing for their deity where you burn insects. And uh, that's part of their culture, too. Also, too, part of their culture in My Neighbor Totoro, families do take baths together. And the two daughters taking the bath with their father, and even at the end where they're showing uh, the steel scenes, they show the girls taking a bath with the mother. So it's not uncommon that the family that takes a bath together stays together. Pardon the pun here. <laughs> uh, today is October 8th, which I'm filming. This is also to Alia Sakawi's birthday. Now, uh, she's a very interesting voice actress. She does the voice of Haruka in the melancholy of Haruka's Mia. And she's a very talented uh, singer. I remember the first time uh, I watched her work I'm going like, man, this is this person really got some dynamite voice range. And uh, I'll tell you a little story. I don't know if this video is still up there on YouTube or not, but she was singing the main theme song for the Melancholy Heart of Susan Mia with an orchestra. The conductor goes off the stage and she looks up there and she says, What? You know, and she goes and he grabs the conductor, brings him back on stage, and then uh, uh, it's kind of funny. I know it was all set up, but it's still kind of hilarious. To watch a little bit of that type of humor and she sang the song so beautifully and then the orchestra did such a great job so if you ever do get a chance to go on youtube and it's still up there i highly recommend you watch it now speaking about youtube uh funimation has uh, started releasing on youtube and showing apple seed 13. now this is a very mature anime uh recommend age i would say for it would be at least 14 up but it's a series and not a movie and the problem with the Appleseed movies, I've always felt like there needed to be more time for development. But a series, I'm going to watch it all the way through and uh, get into it this time really well. Well, the next event for the NC Rolling County Anime Group, we are going to be having a membership drive at the Dead Ed Store in Salisbury from 1 to 5 p.m. Uh, that will be in the afternoon on Saturday. And then on November the 10th, we are going to be doing an experiment in animation. We're going to be showing not all sections of Japan, but the United States, Germany, and other countries different forms of animation during that day. It will be at the uh, land scratch of the Rolling Public Library from 11 to 4. Well, I hope that you enjoyed watching this podcast today. And by the way, Alice and Callie, happy birthday. And by the way, goodbye. <laughs>